Hi everyone, this is Fahad Mirza and I welcome you to my channel. If you want to see an example of a real world use case of using agentic software with existing services, maybe have a look at this Stripe Agent Toolkit. Stripe is one of the world's leading payment service or provider that allows merchants to accept credit card or debit card or other payments. In this video, I'm going to introduce you to this agent toolkit by Stripe, which is quite interesting. Stripe has released this agent toolkit, which is an open source library for Python and TypeScript that supports agentic workflows that use API calls to execute monetary transactions. An agentic purchasing workflow with the Stripe toolkit may look like this, that a user asks the agent to find a flight to a certain destination on a certain schedule with a certain price limit. And then a large language model or agent curates a flight database, selects a flight, obtains authorization from the user, and then purchases the flight. The Stripe Agent Toolkit supports agentic workflow frameworks from Langchain, Versal AI, and Crew AI. It doesn't really implement all of Stripe's API, but still it looks quite cool. So in this video, we are going to install it locally. And then I'm going to integrate this Stripe API with this Langsmith. Langsmith is a platform that supports the entire lifecycle of building and monitoring LLM powered applications, whether you use Langchain or not. It primarily offers you features like debugging, collaboration, testing, evaluation, and more importantly, observability of LLM applications. And I already have covered it a lot on the channel. Behind the scene, I will be using OpenAI's model. So it means that you would need to uh, go to platform.openai.com and purchase your API key, which is around $10 or so. So let's go back and try to get it installed. Before I do that, let me give a huge shout out to Mast Compute who are sponsoring the VM and GPU for this video. If you are looking to rent a GPU and VM on a very affordable prices, I will drop the link to their website in video description. And I'm also going to give you a coupon code of 50% discount on a range of GPUs. This is my Ubuntu system where I'm running Ubuntu and this is my GPU card. I will be using OpenAI's model, which are hosted API based, so I won't be using this GPU, but this is courtesy masked compute. Let me quickly create a virtual environment so that everything I install will remain separate from my local system. Okay, so now let's git clone the repo of this agent and I will drop the link to it in video description. And the reason why I am cloning it is because I just want to use an example from their code. If you just want to use it in your own API or your code, all you need to do is to just do this pip install stripe agent toolkit. It is installed. Let me CD to that agent toolkits example folder, which is already downloaded. And I'm using the Langchain example. If you're using true AI, you can use that one. Okay. So that is done. If there is an environment file, which they already have provided here. So I'm just renaming it from .env.template to .env. Now let me open it in the VS code and I will show you how you can set the environment here. And there you go. So we need to set these API keys here. Now the interesting bit is that some of them are free, some of them are not. For example, Langsmith API key, you would need to go to Langsmith website, which I should just showed you. Sign up and then you can get your API key. It is free for with some credits. Same, you would need to go to Stripe's website and grab your secret key. I have just signed up and I was able to get my key without putting in any credit card information. Uh, so hopefully it will be free too because I'm based in Australia and it seems like Stripe is more US focused. But anyway, we will, I can or at least show you how you can use it if in, you are in US and you got, want to integrate your uh, API with the Stripe because I believe lot of it is quite famous out there it is one of the leading ones there anyway and then of course you would need to set your open AI's api key which is a paid option maybe if you are signing up for the first time you might get some credit and the model which we are going to use with it is gpt 40 and you also need to set your open AI's api base let me 
uh, show you what is API base here which you should be using so this is the API base which is API endpoint it is triggering when we will making the call to this uh, model so let me set my keys save it and then go back to my terminal to show you how it runs and I have set my keys and just a very quick look through this main.py which exactly is a whole code very small code which you can use to call this stripe agent api with llm so you see after importing the libraries we are initializing the model uh, statically or you could just grab it from the environment and then this is where it is grabbing the secret api key calling that stripe with the action is payment link product or prices and then it is because the agents they use tools that is a tool which we have defined with the toolkit this is a prompt that create a payment link for a new product called test with a price of hundred dollars come up with a funny description about buy bought something like this maybe a haiku so let me run it and this is the whole code like under 50 lines which include everything this is the lay of the land okay okay so let's go back to terminal and let's run it let me clear the screen and this is all you need to uh, do in order to run it just call main.py and there you go you see when i ran it it has created a payment link for the product test with a funny haiku description about the buy bots which is product description and then there is a haiku and then it also has given us the link which is just a test link i believe you can also check it out on your stripe so just imagine that you have your website which allows your customers to buy it from Stripe. You can now simply use the power of LLMs in order to just use it. And if you really think about it, we have used OpenAI compatible stuff here. You can easily convert it to any uh, local model like Olama because they all use OpenAI um, compatible APIs. And also another idea could be that you could not only have this stripe agent toolkit maybe you can you are using mastercard or visa or any other payment engine or provider and most of these they all of them have uh, some sort of exposure to their api and you can use some sort of agentic software by just maybe cloning this toolkit because it's not that hard or maybe you can build your own because if you really look at it it's not a complex code at all maybe you can use some coding model to create just ask just give it this toolkit ask it to clone it and then it is going to give you your own toolkit the sky is the limit there so really really good stuff so you can see that now we are having more and more real world use cases being used with the help of agentic software which is quite good so that's it i hope that you enjoyed it let me know what do you think if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel. If you are already subscribed, please do me a favor and share it among your network as it helps a lot. Thanks for watching.